I'm gonna make paella, which could sound a bit of a faff because I know it's got loads of ingredients, but if you come ready prepared on your camping trip with a pre-packed store cupboard like I do, then it kind of gives you the flexibility to make pretty much anything. I, I often think that's what puts people off cooking things other than sausages and burgers when they go camping, because they think all the little bits of oil or vinegar here or there, they wouldn't have access to. So I keep this at home, and then every time we're going camping, I just pick it up and sling it in the van. So I've got things in mind like uh, chilli sauce, can use for all kinds of things. I've got local honey, sort of vinegar, and some of my favourite herbs. I've got some cumin and things like that. So, there's mine. Paella's the dish that I tend to make if we're going camping with a massive group of mates and their families and we're all going to get to the campsite late after work on a Friday night. They get there and do all the hard work like putting up the awnings, whereas I can stand in the middle with this and get going on it and it's a really great focal point, really colourful, all the beautiful smells come off it and it sort of gets everyone excited, ready for sitting down for the meal. Now, I do appreciate that not everyone's going to be clanging around with a massive paella pan. You can use a wok and half or quarter of the quantities I'm going to use. I'll start off with a really good glug of olive oil in there. Okay, so that olive oil is looking hot enough now. That's it. I'm going to put my chicken pieces in. Now, they're probably going to take a good 10 minutes. I want to brown them off on both sides. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. I love that sound. Right, now my favourite bit, which is chorizo, the spicy sausage. absolutely love this. This particular chorizo is made just down the road from here. There's a couple of young guys uh, who formed a company about three years ago called the Dorset Charcuterie Company. Now, the great thing about chorizo for me is when it starts oozing all of that really gorgeous, bright, ready orange oil that's going to flavour the rest of the food. So I'm just going to cook that off for a little bit. Oh, it smells absolutely fantastic. Right, that is browning off nicely. Now I'm also going to take that out before I cook my veg. Now I'm going to put in a couple of chopped onions, give it a stir around. Now I want those just to start softening for a couple of minutes. Now everyone makes paella a little bit differently. I like pepper because it's fiery, bright, exciting. I think it makes the final dish look really, really nice. So once those are starting to soften, I'm going to put my peppers in. And just finish chopping my garlic. So I'm going to put my peppers in. And my garlic. And I just need to keep an eye on that. It's obviously a very hot pan. Try and keep it from catching. And they'll probably need just a couple of minutes to start softening. Looking good already, look at that. Whatever else you put in your paella, the most important thing to get right is your rice. And that's to use proper paella rice. I think it's called bomba rice. It's short and stumpy. And the whole idea of it is that it soaks up the flavours of the stock and all the meats and seafood that you're cooking much, much better than if it was just long, skinny rice. So. It's called bomba, but on your packet in most of the shops you'll buy here will be uh, paella rice. I'm using 500 grams of rice here, and I'm putting it all in before the stock, just very briefly, because I like to stir it around and pick up any of that chorizo oil that's still left in there cooking. Now the stock, I appreciate in terms of the camping world, you don't want to be necessarily making your own fresh chicken stock, but as the idea of paella is, to get those great flavours, use as good a stock as you possibly can. It's quite an important bit. I'm using some chicken stock. That's one and a half litres of stock there, so about 500 grams of rice. And while I've been making stock, I've been soaking saffron in some hot water to let the flavours and the colours come out and that's finally going to add that in to that too. So in theory this is wine drinking time because that will take about 20 minutes but beware, do keep an eye on it, I've known to my peril before, these are obviously wide pans, moisture will evaporate pretty quickly and also it may stick on the bottom. This is quite a thick paella pan that goes with this Kadak but I do have another one at home, it's a bit thinner and does tend to uh, 
evaporate pretty quickly and stick on the bottom. So whilst drinking, make sure you're stirring. And once we've got that bubbling away, I'm going to put my chicken pieces back in. And so they'll cook nicely. And my chorizo or chorizo, however Spanish you want to be. Give that a bit of a stir. Oh, look at those colours. It's looks like sunshine in a big pan. Wine time. I'm not going to be totally selfish with my wine. I'm going to share it with my paella. Just let that rice get even more excited about the flavours. Okay, now's probably time for the prawns. It's all looking pretty much done. Use big prawns if you can. I've peeled them, taken the heads off, but left the tails on. So pile is one of those dishes that you get your hands in. So pick them up by the tails and eat them that way. So I'm using my prawns, putting my prawns in. And then nestle them down. And the very handy thing about shellfish, I find, is that they tell you when they're cooked. So my prawns are going to turn pink and my mussels are going to open. Make sure they're all clean, all the beards are pulled off and make sure that they're closed before you put them in. Okay. Now, just wait for those to tell us when they're done. Right, that looks good to go. Check all your muscles though. Any ones that don't look like they've opened enough, just get rid of him. And possibly that one. And then I'm just going to add some parsley as the finishing thing. Take those stalks out. Over the top. And then to finish off, just look really posh. I'm going to shove some lemon wedges on there. Grubs up, everyone. Heat up a really good glug of olive oil and brown the chicken for about 10 minutes. Remove to a plate and cover. Fry your chorizo until it starts to colour and then pop it on a plate. Add the chopped onion and pepper to the chorizo oil and once it starts to soften, add the garlic. Add 500 grams of paella rice. Give it a good stir around to soak up all the flavours before adding your stock. Simmer for around 20 minutes until the rice has absorbed all the liquid, then add the mussels and prawns. Cook until the prawns turn pink and your mussels have opened. Throw away any mussels that haven't opened, then stir in fresh parsley and pop in a few lemon wedges. 